I'm studying now for the FM test and I have some very strong critic that is this, this uh, idea of using the calculator, the TMV. What is my critic? The critic is, criticism is like this, that it almost seems like the FM have has a contract with a, with a company that they they get a certain percent of all the sales of the of the calculator of the Texas Instrument BA2+. Why do I say that? Because the book and everything, the literature is trying so so strong and so hard to make use out of this stupid calculator that you can actually do everything faster and I'll say that again and I'll prove it to you in a minute with a regular simple Texas Instrument Calculator, the old one that. So here, here's the, here's the thing. There is to to uh, let's assume you know the most common functions is the is to calculate uh, the a the a function that that is the a um, double dot or single dot that is the function of that somebody knows it's one minus v n over i. So let me see how many buttons you need to push. Just let's time it. How many buttons you need to push using the um, TMV calculator and how many buttons you need to push for the regular calculator. So if you use the TMV, you have like this. You have to write, um, you have to pull in, fill in N first you have to make sure to clear because if not you all messed up so that's already two buttons just the second function clear TMV because it's never cleared if you don't clear it so you have already two, two buttons now you type in the N N is the how many years N is one then the interest rate per year then you type in that's another, so see up to four buttons already. Then you have the, you know what, I'll do, I'll just uh, count one, then I'll multiply it by two, because everything is two buttons. So it's the, it's the N, let's, let's assume you know everything, and you want to know the simple function would be to know the present value right present value so that's so you type in the n the interest rate future value you can argue on that but let's count that also future value must be zero and then um, you type in ca ca um, n interest rate future value then you calculate present value so that's 8 four, 4 times 2 is 8 and then you have the clear so it's about 8 buttons now let's say you use a simple method you make like this they give you the rate and the amount of years so it's 1 minus 1 let's say it's 10% minus 1 minus 1 1.1 to the negative 10 divided by i divided by 0.1 so even if you use the brackets because you need to use brackets so it's a bracket, 1, minus 1.1 to the negative 10 bracket divided by i. It's either the same or less. And the main point is that you get the concept, it's clear what you're doing. So only use this has is if you don't know what i is then you can't uh, 
solve it with regular means, then you, you're forced to use this TMD. So they make sure to make problems that you need to use I in order to force you to use a TMD. That's what they're trying to do. It makes no sense otherwise. They're trying to push you into it. When you get to the later chapters and you follow the increasing annuity, everything everything can be done with a regular calculator. Everything. It's only if you want to work extra hard, then you use a TMV. And I'm not kidding now. It's just there to to draw you a copy saying you they should need to, to to twist your head. So again you're forced to use it because that's the only way they're going to pass you the test but remember, use it as little as possible only for calculating the I that's the only thing that's, that's necessary all other stuff, you don't need to use it if you don't use it, you understand what you're doing you'll get a better concept on your work and you'll get a picture, you won't be just a robot without understanding the reasoning behind each calculation so the SN will turn into a normal function of 1 plus i to a certain power, the AN will be 1 minus VN, and then the same thing with everything else, you, 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 you'll, everything will get more natural because if you use the old calculator, you're doing it the natural way, you're not forcing yourself to use some kind of uh, algorithm that they, the, the people that made the calculator are trying to sell you because they want to sell you some new product, obviously. So, again, you have to use the calculate I. That's why it takes the longest to calculate, if you realize, because that uses a complicated algorithm to calculate I. It's impossible to do I with a regular... You need to have that uh, equation solver. But anything else, please don't use them. And I wish you a lot of good luck on your test.